Hello YouTube! So it's the end of 2019 and at the end of every year I like to make a New Year's resolution video and this is this year's. For 2020 it's a brand new decade, it's going to be 10 years of me making videos on YouTube which is really really crazy. So I wanted to set some good goals for myself for the year of 2020, for a new decade, for a new time and all that kind of stuff. If you have any New Year's resolutions, leave those in the comments of this video down below as well. If you're new here, hello, my name is Tori Cyclic. I make new videos every Sunday for Cyclic Sunday with other videos throughout the week. If you like what you see, like this video down below and subscribe while you're down there as well. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram in the description at TSS6295. Now, let's get into the video. So I've got a list of my New Year's resolutions here on my phone. I think there are one, two, three, four, five, six this year, which I think is a good number for 2020. So let's get into it. One, define my personal style. Now this is something that I feel like I've started to do a little bit in the past year and a half-ish with cutting my hair pretty short and like starting to wear clothing that I feel a lot more comfortable in, finding a new way to do my makeup. I feel like I've really started to understand what my personal style is, but I think I can go even further with that. And I feel like that also includes like cleaning out all of my clothing and doing new things with how I look. And I think in the year 2020, I want to start doing that more because it is a new decade and I want to really find who I am in my style. I feel like I still haven't figured out exactly who Tori is through clothing and through how I express myself in that way. I think that'll be a cool way to find a new way to express myself even through my YouTube videos and through how I present myself on social media and help me figure out more about who I am as I'm getting older. Two, go to a workout class at least once a week. Now, I dance all the time, but that is not exactly a workout. It is a workout in a certain way, but I wouldn't consider it like going to the gym or going to a workout. So in 2020, I wanna to go to at least one workout class a week. I'm trying to really make that a goal. Going to Body by Simone a lot, going to yoga. I really wanna get into boxing. Um, I feel like that's just such a good way to get out aggression, but also like to get a good workout as well. I really wanna focus on working out and like toning my body and I was like if I lose some weight that'd be nice as well but like that's not really what I'm focused on with wanting to work out I want to feel a lot healthier and find more muscle strength and things like that because these arms these are nice little like chicken arms they have a little bit of muscle to them but like I want to define that more and feel stronger and feel healthier and I feel like getting into that kind of a routine will really help I was going to yoga almost every week with one of my friends, Aaron, who teaches a lot, but I wanna do even more than that because yoga is a very like calm kind of workout. It is a good workout, but I wanna do like boxing and Body by Simone and cycling and things like that. I wanna do more of that in 2020 to really like feel it in my body, be like, I feel really good health-wise. And I feel like also it could help with like, if I'm getting down mentally wise, it could be really good for a lot of things for myself. Three, putting myself first more often. So this can kind of be seen as something a little bit selfish, but here's what I mean by putting myself first more often. In regards to like my mental health, my physical health and my emotional health, I definitely kind of put myself on the back burner. And by this, I mean, I push myself really hard. I go to a lot of dance classes. I go to work all the time. I don't take care of myself in that kind of way. And I feel like putting myself first and really being like, okay, what do I need for myself to feel good, feel healthy, feel happy, feel content, and have that be like where I start with a lot of things. I feel like that's gonna really help me relax and not be so stressed about things all the time, but also just like figure out what I need for myself to really feel like myself. Four, being more picky. This is one that's specific to the world of theater and auditions. So when I first moved to New York, I literally, the first day I moved to New York, I went to an audition right away just because I wanted to throw myself into that world and then kind of threw myself into that world very hard and went to every single audition possible. And it was very helpful for me to learn a lot about what auditioning is like. My first year in New York, as we know, I've talked about it on my channel before, I got very, very sick very quickly because I wasn't taking care of myself and doing too much. So then I was like, okay, I need to take a step back and then didn't really do that at all. I didn't really take that much of a step back. Like even when I was very, very sick with pharyngitis when like 2017, 2018, I was still actively going to auditions every single day, coughing my guts up, trying to sing and having no voice doing a lot and then also going to work after that. So I would be pushing myself way too far with too many things. So it all kind of goes in with the last resolution as well. And I would be going to every single audition trying to get seen in every kind of way. And I, when I first moved here, I thought that was a really good idea. And I think it was a good idea. And now I'm going into year three of living in New York. I feel like I need to go like this. Okay, here's the audition calendar that is provided for what auditions are going on in the week. Look through all of them and see, do I really have a place in the show? Or do I really have a place in this theater's season? Because a lot of these auditions are for multiple shows in a season. Where do I see myself? Do I really fit? Do I really need to go to the audition? And this is something that I've been learning about myself and understanding a lot is that I try to go to everything because I want to get seen by all of these casting directors and have them remember who I am. But if I'm going to an audition that I don't fit the part for at all, 
they're gonna be like, okay, this random non-union girl showed up to this audition and she's not right for it at all. So for the upcoming year of 2020, I really wanna be taking the time when I'm looking at auditions to really focus on where I fit into the show or into the productions that are being done over the season and really find my place in it and have that be the reason why I'm going to the audition, not just being like, oh, I'm just going because I should go. I'm going because I fit the part and I fit what they are asking for. Number five, get out of my comfort zone more often. So this is something that I really discovered about myself that I was surprised with about myself when I did the bucket challenge in 2018, which is a little series I did on my channel where I vlogged for 30 days and then tried something new every single day. And it really helped me do things that I never thought I would do before, like aerial yoga and like going to a hip hop class and enjoying it. So that's something I wanna bring back into my life to I feel like revitalize things in 2020. I wanna do more of that in like going to new places, taking new classes, like boxing, hip hop, lyrical, contemporary. I wanna like do different styles of dance because I get very stuck in like my I like my musical theater style but I want to do like more classes that I don't normally do I need to get back into ballet class that is something that I need to get out of my comfort zone with because I'm a dancer and I haven't done ballet in a very long time and I need to like force myself to do it but I feel like pushing myself out of the comfort zone of only going to my musical theater classes and going to a ballet class because that's the technique that I always need it's really gonna help me in these classes that I like going to all the time so I feel like pushing myself out of where I get stuck sometimes I feel like it's really gonna help me one explore new places in New York and find new places in the city that I would probably really enjoy and to get out of like my habits because I like my habits but it's always good to break those sometimes as well six find more space for joy. So I'd say I'm a pretty happy person. I'm fairly content with where my life is at the current moment, but I do get into a lot of ruts of feeling very sad and going down that rabbit hole a lot. It has a lot to do with my profession and auditioning all the time and rejection and all that kind of stuff that I know is going to be happening in my life all the time. But I wanna find more space for joy outside of that and even within that whole entire world as well. I can get very hard on myself when I'm not successful and when I don't feel like I'm making progress toward a goal and I need to one be hard on myself because it is a good thing to be hard on myself but not be as hard on myself as I am if that makes sense. With this resolution of finding more space for joy, I want to be able to find happiness in failures. So if that means that I went to an audition and I just completely, completely screwed it up, that I'm like, you know what, that was meant to happen and not overthinking everything. Cause when, sometimes when I go to auditions, I go, okay, if I didn't do well, then this, 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 and this, and this are all bad things that are gonna happen. And I think about it so, so much. But then when I take a second and just go, that was meant to happen. That's what what the world was meant to happen and finding the happiness in that failure, I think it's really, really gonna help me. In 2020, that's something I want. I want joy like a lot more in my life, even with the gray weather outside, because as I'm currently filming, it is raining buckets outside and I'm trying to stay more positive and be more happy with all this kind of stuff. And I feel like it's really gonna help me with like taking care of myself as well, finding ways to be more joyful and more happy and more content with how my life is and just accept all of these things of being like, this is where your life is supposed to be going. It's the path, it's the progress, and that's gonna take you to where you need to go. I think it's really gonna be helpful for me discovering who I am and also taking that idea into a new decade and being like, you know what? Being joyful and being happy is what you need. You don't need sadness and all this other kind of stuff. Finding that joy will be really helpful. So those are my New Year's resolutions for you guys. Let me know what you think of those in the comments down below, as well as if you have any New Year's resolutions as well. I'd love to hear them in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching DFTBA. Happy New Year, happy new decade, and I will see you next year. Bye.